let me go. Hey, what's going on? I'm Anthony Prophet, and welcome to Taste of Music. Today we're going to be hanging out with Christian Kane. He's an awesome country artist, and he's prepping up some great food for us here at the Hotel Indigo. He's upstairs in our penthouse suite. Let's go check him out. Come on. Pop stars to rock stars to some in between. We find out what their taste is all about, whether it be at a restaurant, whether it be at their house, or maybe cooking with them when they're on the road. It's not a cooking show, it's a show that cooks. This is a taste of music. Hey, what's up? It's Anthony Prophet with Taste of Music with my friend Christian Kane today. How you doing, buddy? Doing what are you doing? Here we are. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here we go. Cheers. Man, it's time. It's time. We've got some serious action we've got going on here. That's right. I started a little bit. I just yeah, you're a man with a knife and a man with a plan. So tell me, what are we making today, Christian Kane? I'm going to make a jalapeno goat cheese stuffed grass-fed sirloin burger. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of a dual uh, it's it's kind of a double threat because it's like it's good enough for the guys for game day, right? But it's still great enough to impress a chick if you have her over. It's still romantic enough to where you can you know. Well, you know, hey, us guys need all the help we can get. <laughs> so with that being said, man, where do we start with this awesome dish? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with the cheese. This is uh, some fresh goat cheese, and uh, what I'm gonna do is just open that. Now, goat cheese, you can't, for this particular dish, you can't just use like a ball of mozzarella or nothing no. like that. You've got to get goat cheese for you this. That's you part can't. of the name well, of the dish. Well, it's, it's perfect consistency because it's like, it's not too, it's not going to bleed out on the grill. It'll keep that there. Okay. But it's not like mozzarella to where it'll just, uh, it'll end up just falling, you know, just like staying in a ball right. and, not, and not being correct. You got to worry about leakage out of the burger and then you sure. also, because so it has to stay in, but you don't want it too tough to where you bite in, it's still mozzarella cheese, which never really... You know. Now, when you when you go and you prepared this dish, I mm. mean, goat cheese is not something that everybody's familiar with. Can you just buy this at pretty much any place? You need to find Nowadays, a specialty store. You know what? Five years ago, no. Nowadays, it's everywhere. Do you eat spicy? Oh man, we gotta go okay. hot. Okay. You gotta go hot or go home. I like to I like to make it a little bit spicy, man. My mama was uh, born in New Orleans, and right? So. Uh, and so that's just how she it likes is. a little zip. I'm just to gonna it. I'm just gonna trust you with this. No, man, I there like is to take this and uh, uh, like that. Oh that's the boy. Part of the pepper. Oh man. How's it's that got some heat out? to it, but it's got not, a too, heat? Bad. not yeah. too bad. Not too okay. bad. Okay. You got something to wash it down with, though, in case. I do. All right. Now, good I just man. like to on this cheese. What I like to do is I like to just a little bit of black pepper. Man, the aroma right now coming off this with that that jalapeno hitting that's really good. And then what I like to do, and it, this doesn't have to be. You don't have to get it. Just you're eyeballing it. That's what I like to call eyeball. eyeball it. Exactly. I'm a guy. You yeah. Know just I mean? eyeballing. Yeah. I'm from the Emerald Agassi School of Cooking. There you go. Um, but I like to put that in there just to give it some color, you know. And then yeah, you just, good. and it's just like the burgers we're getting ready to make. You kind of got to get your hands dirty. Well, you this know. also, especially with the goat cheese, if you have some water around, it's nice. You can dip your hand in the water and it won't stick to it, kind of like sushi rice. Right. Okay. But um, but you gotta you gotta get your hands dirty on this, and this is really good goat cheese, so it's gonna it's not gonna stick as much. Now, do as you ball you're balling this up? I'm not. I'm really just kind of mixing it. Okay, mixing honest, it, right? and then yeah. you're gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit. I am. What I'm gonna do is uh, is we've got this rustic bread here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this, and then what I like to do is make the make the patty. Uh, in the similar shape of the bun, that okay. way it stays on there. So it's kind of going to be oblong, but um, and then, well, I'll show you. You put this in the middle, and there's an easy way to stuff it. And then, hey man, like said, this is all you. You're going to show me. Cool. Now, this particular recipe was this something that mom taught you? How'd you learn this? I learned it by mistake. I was cooking by burgers, mistake? and I had the goat cheese, and I said, "What if I just did this?" Yeah, I shoot from the hip a lot. Can I borrow that? Yeah, you can have it. I actually. shoot from the hip a lot, and uh, and it's one of my favorite things to do in the world. I, cooking is my favorite thing ever. Awesome. And I I love walking into a store and just like looking at, not knowing what I'm going to make that night, and just walking in with nothing in mind and just start looking at the meats. I start off in the meat section and just find out what I want. So to it's make. A, it's a happy mistake. It is. It, you know, you, you're. There really is no was. rules when it comes to cooking. That's the beauty of taste of music. We find out what the artist's taste is all about, and obviously this is your taste. <laughs> you know, uh, what, what's this? Now, this isn't your average loaf of bread here. It's not. I mean, you know, this is, like I said, if it was just the guys coming over, you know what I mean, you can get away with hamburger buns, but we're not doing that. Look at, look at the size of this. I mean, uh, you used to play some football back in the day. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> you could drop back with that sucker. All right, very good. Now, the problem with this loaf is that it's a little too big. Okay. So what I want to do is, is I want to get in there, and maybe just, see now that, that's a pretty good loaf. And I'll wow. probably actually, as a matter of fact, I'll do it right now. He's digging it out. I'm gonna hollow this out just a little bit more because you don't want a bunch of bread. You know what I mean? Right. You wanna be able to taste the burgers. Yeah, so that's you don't wanna good. carb up too heavy no. there. And then see this is kinda big as well. So I'm gonna try to take 
I'm gonna take another level of that off. Now be careful with those fingers. You're gonna need that for the guitar, bro. Yeah, I know. You know that that uh, you know you, you know management would be very upset Listen. at what taste of music if yeah, we lost some fingers in this so process. So people can do whatever they want with that. We'll put that over there. Okay, goes over I there. I might hollow this out just just a bit okay. too because it's a little bit a little bit big. But this is really good bread, and it's rustic bread, and it's different than a bun, and it always looks better when you present it. And it's not like a whole wheat. I mean, when you say rustic, kind of define rustic. What does that mean, rustic? Uh, it's, like, it's got like poppy like seeds. Tuscan or? type thing. It's just, you know, it's not your, you see how it is? Yeah. It's like really, that, that's kind of a rustic. The texture on that, too, yeah. is really hard. It I mean, it's, it's, it's soft there, but yeah. hard on the shell. Now, what I'm going to do, just for this, usually I would cut it like this. I'm going to mm -hmm. cut it like this, and now you can see. What your what your what your burger really needs to look like because you nice. don't want it round when you got it right you know what I mean? right so you want to hollow it out Looks so we'll good. keep that all right there okay perfect this is grass fed sirloin beef now you said there's a little story behind the grass fed there's you you know somebody helped teach you about the grass fed I did I did a uh, I was I was very fortunate enough to do a film called Secondhand Lines with Robert Duvall oh right yeah, on. I played Robert Duvall I was him when he was younger <laughs> and uh, and we got close on the film you know and we talked a lot about you know barbecue and stuff like that and he has a place he has a hotel in Salta Argentina okay and he kept talking about this grass fed beef down there and I was like okay well, that's you know that's great and I listen I listened to every word he said but sure. I'm never gonna have the opportunity to try it. Ironically, a year later, I'd ended up doing a film in Argentina, and I went down there, and I had some of the burger, and I had some of the steak, and it's all, they just let the cows out, and they just eat the grass, and it was the best steak meat I've ever had in my entire life. So You know, you would fan. think, you would think, you know, back in the day, that's how cows used to eat. That's how we used to do yeah, it. Yeah, you know, there was none of this artificial Not stuff. Not so much anymore. No. Now, one of the things, you can go, you can go another route with this. You can actually go with a really low fat. Okay. Uh, meat on this because a lot of people say this actually has a little bit of fat in it, but but you can go with a lower fat beef because the cheese is going to add the fat back into sure. the burger. You know sure. What I, mean? I didn't because this is grass fed, so so that's what we're going to do. So what I want to do now is add just a little bit of cumin, not too much, just a little bit. That, of that. That's cumin, not human. Yeah, he's, cumin. It's, it's cumin he's putting in there. And uh, obviously pepper, salt and pepper. You can never get enough. Can't of. go wrong with some salt and pepper. And this is, uh, I like a coarse ground salt. It's sea salt, it's New Zealand sea salt. But uh, you have to. <laughs> Wait a second, you go top of knots with everything. It's not just sea salt, bro. You're going New Zealand sea salt. I do. All right, so that's the way to go. Yeah. All right. And there's a little garlic for you. A little, little garlic. garlic. All right. Uh, here's another ingredient, real quick. And okay. Apologize for having this open. What yeah. is this called? Balsamic vinegar. Oh, wow. That's all it is. Just a good balsamic. Okay. That's what you need. You, you, you got to get the good stuff. Again, yeah. you know, a lot Christian, of people, I'm quite impressed. Everything that you're going with is top notch. This isn't know. this isn't generic. This I'm not is, playing around, man. No, you, you really called, are. You, hey, you listen, I'm, I'm in. You're, the, you're 100%. You don't you're need all that in. much. Some people use Worcestershire. Some people use soy sauce. The salt's already in there with the soy sauce, and so I just like to use this. And then it's, it's that simple. In Argentina, they don't even do this. It's salt and pepper, and the meat has its own flavor, especially like, you know, like I said, with the grass-fed. So you really don't need more than that. A lot of people like to do that. I actually probably added way more than it would make uh, people from Buenos Aires happy right now. But we're going to do it. And the trick is not to beat the meat up. You know what I mean? Okay. Just get a couple of it. You don't want to. You don't want to really bruise the meat or anything like that. So what you want to do now is this is not a regular hamburger patty. No. You're going to want to make it thin, and I'll tell you why. Tell us why, Christian. Okay. Can. You want to match somewhat ah. the size of the bun, you know. So you got this, and you kind of want to match, you know, what's going on there. But you want it to be thin. And I'll explain that to you in a second. So there's. And one. the smell of the balsamic vinegar in there too, really, it's yeah. it's awesome. You know, we don't have smell o vision yet. You no. know, it hasn't happened. No. But I mean, the fragrance coming off of this, the aroma is really awesome. Now I'm gonna I'll make the other one in a second. Sure. So what we're gonna sure. do here first, we're gonna take some of this cheese. Yep. And we're gonna try to do the same thing we did with the cheese with the burger, but it's gonna to have to be just a little bit smaller. So you're almost matching it. I'm almost matching it. And if you, you know, what you can see here too is with, with this, you can see all the jalapenos you've got in there. Yeah. They're all in there, and it's like sitting literally right on top yeah. of the burger. Yeah. That's Now hot. you take this one, and you stick it right on top. That's why you want it thin, because you don't want, you know, this used burger. Dude, you're double patty And then I'm double patty it. That's awesome. And then all you do is just go around seal it. and you seal it. And you got to make sure it's sealed because you don't want any of that good stuff leaking out. I didn't know where you were going with this at first. You didn't. Now, now I see where you, you see just went. You're picking up yeah, because I was down. like, man, he's just going to put another piece of cheese on the other yeah. one, and there we go, it's right. done. No, no, no. You, th there's a secret little special in the middle. It is. That, that yeah. nobody. So you're you're talking yeah. about impressing the girls. Yeah. When they go for that bite, That's there's right. going to be something special in the middle. That's for exactly them. it. Now, there there it you go. 
Now that, these are for me and you, so it's yeah, going right. to be. I'm, I'm making a man size. Burger. Yeah, those you are definitely man bigger, size. That could scare the day away. Yeah, absolutely. But that is, um, that's a huge piece of meat. There you go. Man. All right, Christian, it's time. The real deal right here. You ready to do this? I am. Some people would use a spatula. I don't like to use that. I'm nope. a real man. I'm just going to take my hands Look and put at them you. right there on the side. Oh, right. and the sizzle. And it sizzles, and that's what you want to hear oh. right there. Boom. Oh. Ugh. Nice. Right. Now, this is the bread. We're going to toast the bread in a second, but let the, let's let those things get okay. going right now. Now, when you're on the road, obviously with the band and, you know, with Kane, you guys don't, do you get a chance to do stuff like this? I mean... Ironically, I consider myself a, a, a self-made chef. My guitarist, Steve Carlson, is, I actually went to culinary school for four years in Portland, Oregon. Okay. So we both, I mean, he is a chef. So we do this all the time. Nobody has tried your goat cheese burger. And, and you know, you know you're going to be hanging out with some of your boys, and you say, hey, check this out. Yeah. You know, we talked about impressing the girls and stuff, and that's great. But the boys, I got to say, that's pretty impressive, too, because well, that thanks. was a, a the, these are manly burgers, baby. <laughs> I mean, they're big, they're th and the smell right now, I mean, we're talking inside. I mean, the prep was great, yeah. but this, yeah. brother, this is hit, the real you deal. Some of the balsamic, and especially some of the coarse sea salt will come up and hit you in the face, especially when you throw it on there for. Now, you've, you've been all over this great country of ours, yeah. and you, you've seen all sorts of different places. Do you have a city that you sit back in, and when I get into this city, man, this this place I love to eat at. I do, and it probably would be the the, the most uh, it would be the last place in the world you would think, Chicago. Chi Town. I love Chi Town, man. It's one of my favorite. As a kid, I don't know why. I saw a couple of movies and I did some research and I and uh, and I wanted to move there when I turned 18. As a kid, I don't know why, and I have no idea why. But I've been so many times, and the food in Chicago is unbelievable. Now, I can't I can't take away the fact that I live in Portland five months out of the year filming filming Leverage, the television series. Right. Portland has some of the best food I've ever I've ever seen. Great restaurants, unbelievable wine. Oregon is almost to the point where they're gonna start giving California a run for their money oh on, on wine. Okay. Yeah, so uh, so it's 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 really a, a great place to live. It rains a lot and you know sometimes the depression sits in, but then you eat your way out of it. So there you go, there there therein lies the food. Oh look at this. Yeah we're gonna have to flip these. All right. Just it's time. to see. I believe it's time. Yeah, it's sticking oh, it's just time. a little bit. Yep, Let's yep. flip them. So, I mean, you just flip these things, yep. and I mean, if you look at it, I mean, this is uh, looking really they're, good. They're, yeah, they're the going to they're they're be flipped again. Just the most important thing is, with a lot of the burgers, you don't want to flip them too soon and stuff like this, but you really, with this, you don't want some of the cheese to start, because that's when you get a lot of spillage, is when you leave it on one side too long with the top not right. cooked. So, in, this, in, the, in a situation with this burger, you want to flip it, a couple more times than you normally would with a burger. Most people say don't touch the meat, but with these, you don't want it because it'll start leaking out of the top. And, and, and the cheese, man, I noticed that when you flipped it, there was yeah. no oozage. No, there was no spillage on the cheese. It's important to seal the cheese. The, the cheese is sealed inside <laughs> that yeah. burger, Christian. Yeah. If people didn't know when you were preparing this, it's a little secret surprise. It's it like is. the little, you know, it's like the little toy in the in the in the Cracker Jack box. It is. When they bite it's into a, it, it's a truffle. It is. A, it it's a burger truffle. Would you look at that? There you go. <laughs> you got a little burger truffle here. Yeah. Now, have you impressed any young ladies with this particular dish yet? I have. I impressed yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. She, and she and didn't know. It's actually become our burger. It's y'all's burger. It's y'all's burger. It's y'all's burger. burger. Yeah. So when y'all get together, she's like, will you make me that special burger, baby? Yeah. I made this for her, and then she made it for her family, and I... And I, and I the rest is history I, yeah, almost. Yeah. I'm right. still trying to, you know, win some points, but uh, that, one, that one got me at least 10. You got 10 on that one? I got 10 on that one. Wow. Hey, you think these are about done? I think they're done, man. All right. Let's check them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look man, at that. they almost like rose up a little bit. Yeah. They're plump. Yeah. That is a You've good got plump burgers. <laughs> wow, those look awesome. Oh, so beautiful. Wow, my so friend. Now, before you put that back on, okay. let me throw these down real quick. All right. Let's just um, set those, those there. Right there. Yeah. And let's, uh, let's just go ahead and throw these on the grill real quick. Now, oh. did you put some cheese on there too? I did. I put just a little bit of Parmesan. This wasn't really in the um, in the original thing, but I just I love to have a little bit of Parmesan in there. So that's what we call a Christian flavor. impromptu. Yeah, it was an impromptu. Nice. A little well bit done. of butter, a little bit of red pepper, and uh, just a little bit of garlic. Uh, just, just a garlic hint. Garlic powder. Yeah. Just a hint. Because you don't want to overpower that, and then you just want to get them down in there. And it shouldn't take very long. And you know what I like too, that you put them on top of where the burger was. Yeah. So some of that oh, yeah. flavoring flavor is going to come back in there. The, some of the fat from the burger comes up into the bread. Man, these things just smell so wicked good, Christian. <laughs> and I mean, and this is something that basically going back to basics, this is something that you just whipped up one day. I shoot from the hip when it comes to stuff and like And experimentation this. with food is a good thing. I mean, some things you don't want to experiment yeah. with. Food 
dude, sometimes they're happy mistakes. I just don't believe in it. I just, I, I really honestly believe in walking in and create. It's an, it's an, it's an, it's art. You know what I mean? And if you love something, like I love these. So if you love something, make it again and again and all that kind of stuff. But every once in a while, get out there and experiment. It really sure. is art. And if you paint the same thing every time, you're not an artist. That's just what I'm saying. I agree. And I think also what you can do, you can always contribute more to the art. Like somebody yeah. might see this and think it's great yeah. and they like it. And more than likely, somebody's going to basically hey, imitate your recipe. Listen, but they might say, let's add a little of this or yeah. let's put a little of this. And hey, that's I the like whole thing about it. And take it and do that. And that's what I love about, you know, I've stolen from so many chefs, whether it be Bobby Flay or Emeril Lagasse, or, you know, all those guys. I've taken exactly their thing and added one little other thing and it right. made it mine. Made and it there's yours. No, there's no rules about that. And that's what I love about cooking. It's just, it's, that's the, one of the things why I think it's even better than art is because there actually are no rules. You well, know, unless it comes to baking and then, you know, and that's what. Yeah, there's and some I, and rules in that. Guy, nah, so, you're a shoot yeah. from the hip guy. Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to go check on those onions. Okay. And we need to put these together. And let's eat. Let's eat. Cheers, Christian man. Kane. Thank cheers, you. man. Thanks let's go do some me. eating. You got it. Man, I love this looks wicked good, good. dude. Yours is all set up. I'm just yeah. going to show you how to top mine off real quick. Here's the caramelized onions. They just go right on top of the burger just like that. And now this thing smells so good. This is really and then, oh. magic stuff. Just a couple more. That's now, all you if need. people That's didn't really know, if they were just cutting on, what is the magic juice there? It's balsamic vinaigrette. That's right. Balsamic yeah. it's ba vinaigrette. It's balsamic vinegar. I'm sorry. Okay. It's vinaigrette. And then here's the thing. When you slice your burger, there's no reason to get mad at it and just hammer down on it. You know what I mean? Take your time yeah. with a really good serrated knife Treat it with a and go love. through. And then... Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, man. And then man. there you are. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Throw a couple of chips on there. You know, and you're ready to go, dude. This is this is like really, really over the top because this this ain't Eddie Murphy once said this is no mint dino bay. No, no, no. This no. is the real deal, now, man. Now, if you want, now what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of mustard on the side for okay. me. You want a little bit? Yeah, throw a little on the throw side. A little bit in there. I don't like to dress people's burgers because I don't know how much they want. Right, and so right. That's just that's kind of cocky, just taking it among you know. You don't know how much you want. But that's not your want. average yeller mustard. What, what do we got here? That's a beer stone ground mustard. Yeah, it's a beer, it's a, it's an ale, I guess, stone ground this mustard. This guy and his <laughs> top notch stuff. I mean, it's not just yeller mustard number eleven. It's beer stone ground yeah, that's right. mustard. Yeah. All right. Well, without further ado, I think I'd be doing you an injustice if I didn't just quote unquote, as you just said, hammer it down. Should I go with you? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Oh. And I got a little oh. bit of that jalapeno. No. Let me tell you, it's got just enough heat, but not over the top. It makes me want to enjoy this cold beverage there a little bit go. more. You know? There you go. Wow, that is oh, so perfect. good, man. I think one of the great things about this is that you have these onions on here yep. that give it that little extra crunch as well. Yep. Because they're not like overly done. Yep. They've got, still got that crunch to it. Yeah, and it adds sweet. That's what I love about it. It's got some spice into it, but the cheese and the onions add the sweetness. The, on the onions actually add sweetness. People don't realize that, but it's actually adding some of the sugars and everything else to coming out of the cheese and the cheese calms you down. It's a little spicy, but then the cheese makes everything better. You know, I've really enjoyed this, man. You hanging out today. I, I usually try to do this with a lot of my artists when I'm finishing up. I mean, we've had a great day doing all this, but I try to throw something at you. I call it five and 15, okay? All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. You are out in, in, the, in the plains of Oklahoma, yeah. okay? You, you, you've got five food items that you gotta have with you. Yeah. You know you're gonna be there and you don't know when somebody's coming to help you. In 15 seconds, give me those five items. What would they be? Go, Christian Kane. Steak. Uh, you gotta have some potatoes just okay. to survive off of. All right. I'm gonna have um, some tortillas because I gotta wrap everything up. I'm gonna have go. to have a little bit of cheese because I like cheese on everything. And no, I one more. Have one more. Got three seconds. Jalapeno. Jalapeno, baby. There it is. We are done with my friend Christian Kane. We gotta do some eating, sir. Let's do it. Here's to you. Thank you. All right, man. We're gonna we're gonna wrap things up, with my friend Christian Kane today. Thanks for checking out Taste of Music. Remember, it's not a cooking show. It's a show that cooks. Come on. One more time. Yeah. Ain't you been listening? It's never gonna work out. And I think it'd be a good time now to let me go. You don't need me, baby. But stop holding up. Other than 
All right, Christian, the real deal. Here we go. It's the true test now. Go. Ready? Ready. All right, I lift it up. Off. Yeah. And you put them right on. Now, some people would use. Oh, that was. Oh, horrible. come on. Wait, 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 wait. I just did it the last nice. time. I've been doing it the whole time. Well, we that's were okay. Here. It's all right. All right, now it's time for the real deal. Here we go, Christian. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, some people would use a spatula. Oh, Jesus. He. What, David? The real deal. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thanks for catching that, Dave. I've had, these are all the I've outtakes. Had, I've had one beer. Just for the record, one beer. All right, Christian, it's time for the real deal here. All right, you, you've got the burgers ready. The grill is hot. You, you ready? ready? I'm ready. All right. Some people would use a sp God dang it, man. <laughs> You're going to have fun. You should just do a whole outtake. Yeah, I didn't awesome. miss like once. I did it 18 <laughs> times.